Springfield police are still investigating an incident that led to a lockdown at the High School of Science and Technology. So far, no arrests have been made, but police say they are taking this seriously. Two police cruisers parked outside Springfield's High School of Science and Technology, the most recent school forced into lockdown this week after reports of someone with a weapon. Unfortunately, it seems to be a sign of the times. You know, it's something that you don't want to be complacent about when you hear it. You want to have a reaction, but it seems to be that it's something that's happening more frequently than it should. In the same day, Yale University in New Haven went into lockdown for a similar incident. Here in Springfield, no arrests have been made yet. School spokeswoman Azel Kavan told 22 News no weapon was actually seen by school officials. However, they put the school into lockdown anyway to be safe. Kavan didn't elaborate on the kind of weapon involved, but she did say the man wasn't affiliated with the school in any way, something that doesn't sit well with parents. I can't imagine parents with younger children, you know, sending them off to school and in the back of their minds, they must think of Newtown. You know, it can happen anywhere, anytime. Putnam Vocational Technical High School senior Janae Roman said her school practiced a lockdown drill in response to the SciTech incident, something she says is important to do these days. I mean, I feel safe, but it can happen to anyone because people are crazy enough to bring weapons to school because they really don't care. And the school district spokeswoman wouldn't talk to us on camera on this issue today. I did talk to police, though, who told me they are still working on their investigation, and we will bring you any new information as soon as we have it.